biggest thing that the production system needs to always keep in mind is that all dollars, all new dollars that flow into this industry start with the consumer. And you know, the, the importance of consumer demand and the, the acceptance of our products to that consumer ultimately dictate how many dollars we have to trade amongst ourselves, so to speak, here in the production side. Many of those dollars make their way from the steakhouse back to the ranch. Company president John Sticka says demand for the certified Angus beef brand surged higher in 2011, which helps explain a 40% jump in Packer reported CAB grid premiums. Well, fed cattle prices and box beef prices run in common with each other, obviously. You know, if packers are receiving higher prices for certified Angus beef, and, and those prices uh, for certified Angus beef middle meats this last year uh, ran about 20% higher than those same prices uh, in 2010. You know, and as those prices go up, then obviously we tend to see uh, live cattle prices for, for cattle or premiums for certified Angus beef qualifying cattle go up as well. That $32 million total was up from $23 million in 2010, according to February reports. Sticka emphasizes this was in addition to premiums for hitting USDA grading targets. You know, the choice select spread gets all the attention. And uh, when it's narrow, uh, folks like to say there's no demand for quality. When it's wide, uh, they, uh, they look at it and try to figure out how they can catch the, catch the wave really quick. You know, the reality is, is obviously the choice select spread is important. Uh, because it does give us some measure of the demand that's out there for, for those products and the prices that are obviously being paid. What most producers tend to uh, not notice or not realize is that in many cases the certified Angus beef choice spread remains wider than the choice select spread. Dollars add up for cattlemen who consistently aim high. CAB grid premiums for accepted cattle total $352 million since 1998, or $28 million per year across the past decade. Over the last 14 years, there's been a tremendous amount of growth uh, in the total cumulative dollars that Packers have prepaid uh, to producers. It's really a function of a, of a brand that uh, uh, continues to grow its consumer awareness globally. Uh, and obviously we've seen a, a shift, I believe, in what consumers are expecting from our beef industry. As consumers expect more, the easiest way for cattlemen to reap the reward for delivering better beef is to sell in a value-based system. Cindy Campbell reporting.